kick the bed, don't you? Oh, God, are you awake? <laughs> um, I just take them with me everywhere. On matinee days, she comes down with, they both come down with the nanny and they spend the whole day in the theater. So they never show inside out? Yes, Laura does all the songs. She was doing one of them the other day, that's absolutely true, and she went, oh, you can't get a man with a bum. <laughs> I said, no, darling. First of all, it's the wrong lyrics, and I said, yes, you can. <laughs> What about your children, Rich Harris? Are they uh, a major part of your life? They are. Most yeah. important, though. Three boys? Yep. Yeah. How old are they now? I'm 26, 24, 22, mm. around that area. Yeah. <laughs> but they are, they are. I mean, I, I often thought if I look back at this particular stage of my life, having, having lived this long, much to the amazement of my friends, <laughs> you know, and uh, my life wouldn't be anything without them now. Mm. I can look back and say, that's really what it's all about for me. Do they come out and stay with you at your home in the Bahamas? Mm -hmm. mm, lovely place to go and visit Dad, yep. isn't it? Absolutely. I wonder what it's like for them having a father that's got such a sort of flamboyant image. I th Are they like you? I think they all have aspects of me, I suppose. Do you like the aspects of you that you mm, see I in do. them? I do. I'm very proud of them. Have they all got yeah. blue eyes? Like yeah, they have. They've got the most amazing blue eyes. Like we, we can't sort of go in close on... When I speak to my ex-wife on the phone, one of them does something wrong, I always say, your son. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I see, yes. And if, they, and if they achieve something, Mars, I said, my son. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and what are they doing now? One of them has just finished a movie, directing. He wrote and produced him and, and directed a movie in California. He won Filmex Award mm. last year, Fil oh. Filmex 85. The second one is in Central School. The third one is a pop singer. Oh. With the group. And how's he doing? He's doing okay. Yeah, do you think he will become mega? I don't mega know. Mega big? I don't, as long as I, I don't know. I mean, I suppose it's important. Is it important to be successful? Well, it depends. depends on who you are. It was important for me to be successful. No, but I now when you look it. back, because I'm years older than you, when I, mm. when I look back on it now, I've had all these years, and I sort of think, well, so what? I'm it's not, it's not the one to sort of blase about it, but I somehow think that, was it all really necessary? But if you're an entertainer, you want to have the people there to see you, and the whole thing goes, you know, I mean, oh, yes, it's, not, it's a cycle. I'm, I'm not like that, I'm afraid. I mean, I really couldn't care less if I ever worked again. What turns you on then now? I'd just be like to be on my own and that and ramble around and go to the theatre, see other people perform, see younger people being marvellous. Like great joy to see Vanessa Redgrave's young daughter. I saw one Natasha perform in the seagull. Mm. And I knew when she was about four doing Camelot, she was a little baby in my arms. And to see her on stage playing Nina in the seagull and see how wonderful she was, that to me is very exciting. It's very proud, yeah. I imagine. Mm. Yeah. Proud, I don't like to do with it. But to see her there, knowing her, knowing her, and then seeing her, and seeing the younger generation so committed to to their work, and they and, and they are right, and they are wonderful. This this generation. That, Do you reckon? Oh a yes, there's one. Say they're not. No, that's not true. They're more dedicated than we were. They're going to do much more. Are you more talking about your profession now? Yes, I am. Solely. Yeah, I'm talking about my profession. They're much more dedicated than we were. They won't abdicate. I mean, O'Toole and myself and Finney and Burton, we all sort of abdicated, really. Yeah, but you're such wonderful characters, all of you. I talk to you all day. You've done a lot. You've I seen a lot of things. I prefer to see them on stage, to see yeah. the, the work on. I, I prefer to see the magnetism happen on the stage yeah. somehow. Well, you and the younger generation have it. I mean, these young people that I speak to now, they really have this wonderful commitment that they somehow are not going to make the mistakes that we mistake, and that we've made, and we know we did. We went off to Hollywood and we made bad pictures and so forth, and we shouldn't really have done it. Do you think some of it, but not all of it. What do you think of some of the films that you've made? I think some were wonderful and some were dreadful. More dreadful than wonderful. As long as they keep showing the good ones on the television, not well, that's not the awful thing, isn't it? Because I haven't done a picture for about four years. And people keep recognizing me in the streets. I said, God, you become immortal through video cassette. If they haven't invented the video, I'd be forgotten now. <laughs> but they've invented the video in the late night movie. Mm. So we'll go on forever. Yes, it's true. terrible, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to watch the television anymore. No. You, is, is it a funny feeling turning on the television, seeing yourself in an old film? I never watch. I can't bear it. Yeah. I couldn't even watch it when I was young, watching my stuff when I was young. I yeah. couldn't bear it at all. But why? Does it make you cringe watching your terrible. own performance? I feel awful. Oh. Yeah. Look awful. Hate the way I look, hate the way I talk, how I do things. Terrible. Oh, I study. I'll watch things and study. And if I can watch it and not realize it's me up there, in other words, forget it's me performing, then I know it's working. But if I'm conscious of the fact that it's me up there, then it hasn't worked. What bits about you don't you like? Do you pick yourself to bits? Oh, I don't think anybody ever likes their face on the screen, do they? You, you sort of go, Ugh, you know. 
everybody else thinks it's wonderful. You think it's, you, you pick about things like that, yes. Yeah. And I always think I'm, I've got a lisp, which I don't have. And I think I'm, I got this raucous laugh, which I do have. And I go, oh, you but do things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? You have a lisp. <laughs> I didn't think anybody would notice that. <laughs> well, anyway, look, it's great to have you both here today. Unfortunately, programs have to come to an end, and this one has. But look, Susie, the best of luck for Annie Get You Thank home. you very much. It's obviously brilliant, since Giles said it was. Wow. I mean, he's such a critic. Thank you very much. Uh, and, and we'll come to see it as yes, well. Yes, do. And have a wonderful time. Thanks. In a, in a really successful I've got run. a very dirty lyric to one of your songs. Can I sing it now? Well, well not if, if you think you can get away with it. Can't, no. <laughs> tell you what, write it down. We'll use it in the show. <laughs> tell, tell us during the news. You can tell us, and we'll, and we'll pass send it, it on to Irving Berlin. He's 96. That might just about do it. <laughs> hey, Richard. <laughs> hey, Richard. Um, thank you as well. I mean, you didn't really know why you'd come in. No, I didn't. I'm so glad here. you did. Thank you. We're still yeah. waiting to find out. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> loved <laughs> chatting to you. Yeah. Yeah. Glad okay. to the suggestions. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. When you go back to the Bahamas, I do hope you come back to live here one day. Okay. Thank you.